Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Sunday. I am Julian Gibson, a successful staging of the St. Valentine's Day Regatta. Boy, hundreds packed in Monique Four Shores, organized early age, so Barbara J. Johnson should be satisfied. Boy, it was simply a great regatta. Now, CEO of Sands Bear, Mr. Everett Sands, he was simply elated yesterday about the sculling competition. I'm so happy that everybody's having a good time. You know, years ago, this is the only way we could get from Nassau to Hog Island, you know, I, I, I beg your pardon, I mean Paradise Island now. In my day, it was Hog Island. This is the only way you could get there, by sculling. So, I, I tried to get somebody to take me, but they wouldn't take me. They say I'm too damn old. <laughs> but this is good, though, trying to keep our, something good with our culture, something to bring our cu cu culture back. This is good. Yes, I'm, I, I'm very, very happy. I, I think it was a great idea. My, my, my son had this idea to have you know, have to bring back sculling. I, I think it was a very, very good idea. Could the new Olympic contending sailing come from Harbor Island? Even as the Bahamas tries to identify and train its new Olympic hopefuls in sailing, yesterday the ribbon was cut to a new sailboat house at Bryland Park. Giovanni Stewart tells us the generous gift from a Canadian homeowner will create a wealth of opportunities for aspiring students there. They are potential future Olympic hopefuls for the Bahamas in sailing junior captains of the Harbor Island Sailing Club. Re-energized by the generous gift of a much-needed boathouse from Canadian second homeowner and philanthropist Gary Slate. We really feel connection with the island and the people and especially the kids. Uh, very important to us, uh, to our family, to my mother and my wife Donna and I. So um, this, we watched the sailing program evolve and we helped out with the boats and when Toby Dunn asked if we would help finance the building of this building to me it was pretty simple to say yes the Harbor Island junior sailing program is five years strong with 35 students currently enrolled program director Commodore Melvin Higgins was instrumental in making the boathouse happen the purpose of the Slate family boathouse is not to be a community center but rather a center within the community that welcomes children from all walks of life who desires to learn the art of sailing because in the end it is all about the children. Higgins and committee members reached out to the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture to identify the ideal location and help facilitate the process. Minister Charles Maynard notes that sailing is seeing a resurgence and the government is optimistic that public-private partnerships like this one will not only positively impact the community but lead to the Bahamas becoming an Olympic contender in sailing once again. A feat unmatched since legendary Olympic champion Sir Derwood Knowles won the gold in 1964. And that absence is soon to end. We expected to have Bahamian sailors to re-enter into the Olympic competition in this Olympic Games and definitely in the Olympic Games in 2016. The $80,000 facility built at Brylin Park features a boat storage room and a classroom where students like Frederick Higgs and Malicia Higgins will also learn the theory of sailing. It is a good thing for me because so that we would have a place to put our boats in. She taught me to appreciate life and, and the, the little youth. I, I really, really love it and it taught me a lot of discipline. Harbor Islanders were also excited to learn that the 2012 Optimus Sailing Nationals will be held right here on the island this fall. Reporting from Harbor Island, I'm Giovanni Stewart. And finally in sports from the second city, plans are well in place for the Grand Bahama Women's Golf Classic. Shikara Russell tells us more about this signature event. The Grand Bahama American Women's Club is calling all eligible persons to assist with educating a child by sponsoring the upcoming golf classic at the Grand Lucayan Reef Golf Course. President of the club, Ann Bain, says it's a worthy cause. Currently we give out 14 scholarships and all of them are to children in the private high schools on the island. And of course this is our major fundraiser so we are hoping and encouraging your support. You can support it by playing golf and if you don't play golf you can do things like sponsor um, a cart and any other, any number of other things. Handicappers, this is just a tournament for you. 
anyone can come. All we need to do is have your name and your money, and we need to know your handicap. We also have prizes for longest drive, longest putt, uh, the most accurate drive, and we're hoping to have somewhere between 80 and 100 people playing this year. Bev Hall says sponsors have been most generous. We've got great local support uh, from companies such as Jet Wash and uh, Freeport Advertising. The, um, the uh, reception is going to be held at Red Beards and they have donated that reception. We're very excited about that. Assistant Manager at Freeport Jet Wash, Carol Bethel, says they have always provided incentives for participants. This year, a 2012 Ford Escape is the grand prize. Each year, the car has gone back to the showroom, and we're hoping this year it'll be different. Um, last year, someone was able, we made it possible for someone to win a high-end set of golf clubs, and there'll be other prizes this year as well as the car for someone who's lucky. Registration is Monday, February 20th through Thursday the 23rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Shakara Russell, ZNS Total Sports. Well, that's all the time for Sports Sunday. Once again, I'm Julian.